Hello, in this video I'll be giving you a quick overview of downloading and using Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams is meeting and chat software that's an important tool for your distance learning. It will allow you to connect to your classes, meet with other students, attend tutoring, share documents, and collaborate with others in real time. To access your Aurora College Microsoft Teams account, you'll need to have set up your My Aurora College student email and password and have access to Office 365. As usual, we will begin at the Aurora College website, which is www.auroracollege.nt.ca, and we will scroll down to the Student Toolkit. Click that button, and to continue to your Aurora College Microsoft Office student account, click the Student Webmail button. If you aren't already signed in to your Aurora College Microsoft Office student account, you'll be prompted to do that now. This brings you to the Aurora College Office 365 site. To continue on to Microsoft Teams, just click the Teams app. You'll now be given a choice to download the Windows app or continue on using the web app. To set up Teams on your computer or laptop's desktop, click the Get the Windows app button. Once you've clicked the button to install Teams on your desktop, it will download to your computer and you can follow the prompts to install. Once Teams has been installed, you'll be asked for your email. Enter your My Aurora College email here. Next, log in with your My Aurora College email and password at the Aurora College Online Services page. You can also download Teams on a mobile device such as a phone or a tablet. Here, I'll demonstrate with an Apple device on the right and an Android on the left. Start at the App Store or Google Play Store and search for Teams. Then select the Microsoft Teams app. Choose Get or Install. Once you've opened the app, Teams will prompt you to sign in with your institutional login. Use your My Aurora College email here. And then sign on to the Aurora College online services page with your My Aurora College email and your student password. If you're using Apple, remember to give Teams permission to access your camera and microphone. You'll now be able to use Teams on your mobile device. Once you've downloaded Teams onto your device, you'll be ready to begin using it. Today, I'll be demonstrating using Teams from a desktop. I've already logged in with my Aurora College email and password. Teams has many different features. Today, I'll just be giving you the highlights that you'll need to get started. First of all, to access your Teams profile, you can click this button in the top right-hand side of your screen. Once you've clicked that, a drop-down menu opens. You can change your profile picture by clicking this circle here. You can also change your status, and you can set a status message. You can also change your settings or sign out of Teams. On the top of the screen to the left, you'll see a new chat icon. If you click on that, you can send someone a message. On the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see a navigation bar. The first option is to look at your activity. If there's been any activity in Teams, you'll see a little red number here. You can access chats here, including a history of your chats. You can find your Teams assignments, calls, files, and more. Today, I'll show you the Teams feature. When you click the Teams option, you'll see the teams that you're part of. You may have teams that are college-wide, for your campus, your program, individual classes, or other groups. To enter into a team, just click on the icon. When you're inside a team, you can see posts that have been made to the team, as well as files, a class notebook, assignments, grades, and more. You'll sometimes have the option to make posts or reply to them yourself, as well as join a meeting. Inside a meeting, you'll still have access to your navigation bar on the left, but when you move your mouse around, you'll see that you have a new task bar. You can turn your camera on and off, as well as mute or unmute your microphone. It's always a good idea to mute your microphone if you're not speaking in a meeting. This will help reduce background noise. As well, you can turn your camera off to help reduce the amount of internet or data that you're using. Turning your camera off can also sometimes help if you have a slow connection. You can also choose to share your screen, which is helpful if you're presenting. You can click this icon to display more actions, such as recording the meeting or changing your background. This icon allows you to raise your hand, which allows you to ask a question or make a comment without interrupting. This speech bubble opens the chat pane, which is another way to make comments or ask questions. Be aware that anything that you type in chat is visible to everyone who's in the meeting. Finally, you can see who's in the meeting and you can hit the red hang up button to end the meeting at any time. With Teams, you'll be able to attend classes and connect with others while studying from home. This will help you to fully participate and engage in your learning and will help set you up for a successful academic year.